This is Brian Burnett from Before You Buy, and today I'm looking at the Clisp KG200 Gaming Headphones. This set of headphones will work with the PS3, PS4, PC, and even the Xbox 360. The KG200 is a wired headset, so you'll need to have the USB plugged in at all times. The weight is fairly light, which is mostly due to the fact that there's not a lot of padding on it, but that by no means makes it feel cheap. The plastic construction feels really solid. The ear cups are relatively small and square shaped. And as for the padding, it's a mesh fabric that allows for air to pass through, keeping your ears cool, while also being open enough for your significant other to communicate that you're being too loud while playing Halo. After a while, the small size of the cups made it made the headset uncomfortable, and even more so when wearing glasses. On the right side of the headset is a set of controls. A volume rocker is located directly in the middle and has separate buttons for controlling the game volume and also the chat volume. Also there's a mute button and an EQ toggle that has four different modes. At the top is an LED that glows blue indicating that the headset is on and will turn red when muted. But as it's on the side of your head it's hard to tell whether it's muted or not. Also when first using the headset before you've memorized the buttons can be kind of confusing. The mic is detachable and has a good range of flexibility. The sound quality is about on par what you'd expect to hear over Xbox Live, so good enough for gaming communication, but not so much for recording audio. Included with the headset are all the cables and attachments you'd need to hook up to your gaming devices. So long as it's not the Xbox One, because that needs a sold separately adapter. I tested this headset with my Xbox 360 and the setup was a bit of a pain as you're tethered to the 360 with the USB and then a separate cable is attached to the controller for audio and finally you have a split off for the component cable where you're able to plug in the audio inputs. Once everything was hooked up it was relatively easy to use and the sound was really good, crisp, clear, and, but lacking a little bit of the bass at the bottom when you're hearing explosions in the background. As for the EQ modes, I didn't notice much of a difference between the four different modes. So pros and cons, uh, first pro is sound. It's not the best sounding headset I've ever had, but it was good and clear for gaming. Also the second pro would be versatility. You can use this with a variety of different gaming devices, which can come in handy. And the third pro would be its weight. It's really light and if it fits your ears properly then I can see this being able to wear this for a lot of hours gaming. But as for cons, for me personally the ear cups were a little small and not so comfortable. Uh, the volume was really loud even at just the very lowest setting during uh, playing on my Xbox 360 and the controls can be kind of confusing because you can't see what you're touching until you've memorized the controls on the side. So is the Clips KG200 a buy, try, or don't buy? I'm going to have to say a don't buy. For nearly $130, it's expensive, and for most people, I find it won't be very comfortable. But maybe I'm spoiled using the Audio-Technica M50s that we use here at Twit for editing, which retail for about $120 and are way more comfortable and sound a lot better. But these aren't gaming headsets, so they don't include a mic. This has been Brian Burnett from Before You Buy, showing you the clips to KG200s.